This belt is for the vacant FCFF Welterweight Championship. First, we'll start with the fighter standing to my left in the red corner. He's a pit fighter coming to us tonight with a record of three wins with no losses. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 168 and six tenths pounds. Trained by Trent Standing and representing Team Saga. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Chris, the last man standing. Chris standing. And his opponent, standing to my right in the blue corner, a freestyle fighter coming to us tonight with a record of four wins with only one loss. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 168 and two tenths pounds. Trained by Scott Trehorn and Krista Schaefer and representing Extreme Couture. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Joe. And your referee in charge of this main event championship bout is Steve Newport. All right, guys, this is the main event. We went over the rules earlier. Give me a good, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. Let's touch gloves now. Back to your corners. Here we go. I have waited a long time to see this bout. Chris standing in the red corner. He's got on the red gloves and the red shorts. He is taking on Jay Schaefer out of the blue corner. Jay in the black shorts. Chris standing has gone down. He slipped. He essentially took himself down. He's underneath. Jay Schaefer on the top. Chris Standing from the first family of the FCFF, and that of course is the Standing family, his brother Trent. Chris Standing does one thing better than anybody, and that is he comes up with effective game plans. He's been the ringmaster for a lot of fighters, and he's looking for an armbar now. He's going for it. He's got the wrong trap. I would be very surprised if he could catch Jay Schaefer in an armbar, but they are awfully dry, and they're back out. Chris standing out of full guard. Jay Schaefer, our number one contender, recently competed for the championship with Sean Sifke. Came up a little short in that bout, but not before dropping Sean Sifke, having him on the fence. By the end of the night, Sean Sipke said that is the toughest guy I've ever fought. And now, well, he looks like God oh my go -go Chris Standing with a go-go plata. That He's is a first for the slammer, and Schaefer again finds a way out. I tell you, I personally never knew Mr. Standing was quite as flexible, and he's in for another submission. Where are these submissions coming from? Chris Standing with a very deep triangle. Ryan, what do you think? I think it's, he just, he's just going on all cylinders. He's just shotgunning every submission he's got right at him. I think you would agree Jay Schaefer was the odds-on favorite going into this fight. He's in top position, but Jesus, if it's not one thing, it's the next with Chris Standing here on the bottom. He is pulling out all the stops in this fight. There we go. And he, the most important thing is he's coming with submissions at odd angles. Now, Chris needs to be careful. A lot like punching yourself out. You can do the opposite, but with your legs. He is squeezing with those legs. Not super tight, 
but he is squeezing. And that's using a lot of energy by Chris Danning. Jay Schaefer staying strong. Doing everything he can. But Jay Schaefer is just not out of trouble, not at all here. At this point, when you have a submission like that, Ten it's not seconds working. left already. My God, this round just started, it felt like. That seemed like three minutes to you? No. And that round is over. Standing. Standing won that round, in my estimation. I'm not a judge, of course, but he won that round, and he did it from the bottom, and that is very rare. Yeah. He had... What do you think? Talk to me. He had two submissions that he attempted there. He, he went for the go-go platter, which I thought he had it. And as soon as he was able to get up out of the go-go platter, he just rapidly to it, right another submission. He had him right in the triangle. Wow. Wow, wow. That is all I can say is wow. Christopher standing on the bottom. He slipped to put himself there. I mean, if or he did that. he? Yeah, you never know. I think if he can do that well from the bottom, let's see what he can do from the top. Well, that's pretty interesting. I'm not certain if he slipped or if he did that on purpose. He's awfully tactical. We'll have to, I suppose maybe we'll never know, but round two is underway. Steve Newport starts them, and they're dead center. We're on our feet. In theory and on paper, this is Jay Schaefer's territory. He's got a tough, very, wow, what a slap. And standing pulls guard again, which leads me back to my theory of did he really slip? Yeah. Or is that just the genius in Chris Danny? But either way, we're back on the ground. Yeah, he looks to be very comfortable from, from, his, from his back, and that seems to be the most important thing for him right now. I think you would agree, Christopher Standing, to win a round from the bottom, and in fairness, it's very hard to do, has got to lock on, clearly lock on. Another submission. He's got him. He's got him in trouble. If he can cinch that in, he's just got to get him down there a little farther. Um, Christopher Standing of Saga, head instructor, along with his brother Trent Standing. On bottom, Jay Schaefer, head Looks instructor, like as well as his wife, Krista, at Extreme Couture. He wants to get that leg. He's going after a leg. I'll tell you, I never knew that Chris Standing had these techniques in his arsenal, and Jay Schaefer's back on his feet. Now he's starting to rain down some leather. He's not getting through. Standing protecting himself, but Jay will score here. He will score with the judges here. Chris is just, he's looking for any limb available, it looks like. Anything that and he gives And Standing reaches for another triangle. And he's got... It's like Chris's fan club behind us here. I just never had any idea that Christopher Standing had this in his bag of tricks. He is pulling from the well everything he's I got. I see Sean Sifke, our former champion, coaching one of these gentlemen from the sidelines, cheering for one of them. I, I can't make out who he's cheering for. Jay Shaver pops out and lands a couple strikes. And standing drags him back down, and now he's looking for a guillotine. That's, that's four different submissions he's attempted so far. Chris Stanning showing the best jujitsu of the night. And it's 